Oh, no. I just threw something away that people throw away every single day. And they don't realize that if they just held onto these and gathered them together into small bunches, that you could easily sell these for hundreds of dollars on eBay. Does anyone want to take a guess on what that was that I just put in the garbage can just based on the sound of it and the size of fit in the palm uh, of my hand? Now, there's some that are bigger. If you want to guess, hit the pause button right now and guess below and we'll see if you're right. All right. All right. Here we go. What we're talking about here are empty. That's right. Empty printing ink cartridges. And for the bigger ones, we could also generalize this out to the toners. Now, many people who are experienced in reselling know very well that you could easily sell new printing ink cartridges and toners. They're one of the fastest selling things that I have ever found sells on eBay. You literally will list these things sometimes and they are instantly snatched up by other companies that are also uh, selling the ink somewhere else for even higher amounts of money. But what a lot of people don't realize, even experienced resellers, is that the empty ones also could sell for really significant amounts of money. So let me share my screen with you, show you a bunch of examples, and go into some terminology that you would also want to make sure you included in your listings. And this will give you some ideas of things uh, to look for. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And let's start here. So this is a lot of 38 uh, empty Canon ink cartridges. Now you could see here that we have black ones here and that we also have color ones here. Now you're going to see the term uh, up here. It says uh, OEM. So this stands for Original Equipment uh, Manufacturer. So it's basically telling you that these were actually the ones made by the actual company. Now there's non-OEMs, which I'll show you later. These are the ones that are compatible uh, with the particular printer you're trying to use them in, but they're not made by the official company. I'm just, I'll show you some examples of that later, but just keep in mind, they don't always have to be the OEM or official ones, but if they are, you will want to make sure that you put that in there. And some people will use other terms like never filled and uh, and, and stuff like that. I mean, it just, it just depends. Um, I'll, I'll show you some other terminology in a moment, but this goes to show you 38 of them sold, by the way, on auction. These are safe items to auction for two hundred and sixty eight dollars with fourteen dollars and ninety five cents shipping that is actually not a lot of these things um and you'll see you could even sell these things in smaller amounts uh for good money let me uh show you an example though of toners just so you're aware uh, of these i sell a lot of these things new but you can also sell them if they have been emptied now you'll see here that uh, this is made by a different company. These are made by Xerox. We only have three of them. And this is a sold price for $150 for the three. And as you can see here, it is emphasized that these are empty cartridges. You're also going to see here that it uses the term virgin. No, not that kind of virgin. What it means in the, in the, in the terminology for printing ink, it means that it was only used one time. Uh, that's weird, right? When you think of like the real virgin term, but that's what it means in terms of uh, printing ink. So um, if you scroll down here, you will also see that um, it, it will it will tell you here, and this is a good thing I would suggest putting into listings like this. This is meant for someone who refills toner cartridges for a living. And that's why these go so fast is because there are a lot of companies that are dedicated to just getting these uh, cartridges and uh, either, either the small ones or the big toners and selling these uh, to the public after refilling them uh, with their own ink that's compatible with you know whatever printer it is that they're uh, selling them for. So make sure you're, you're mentioning uh, that they're empty. You're making that very clear. You don't want someone purchasing it, you know, thinking that uh, this is a new 
uh, toner. So very clear, put it in caps, put it in bold, put stars around it, whatever you have to do just to minimize uh, any type of confusion. So uh, let's go on to another example. Uh, this one here, uh, these are uh, also cannons, and I'm putting this one up to you just to show you that this is not like, like this example over here, that this is not a one-off. This is a repeatable thing you will find over and over if you look at the solds for empty printing ink, ink cartridges. Uh, this is a lot of 35, again, uh, sold on auction 17 bids for $261 and $10 uh, expedited shipping. Uh, if you know, obviously, what the um, what the model number is, make sure you're including that in your title because people are going to search for it. Remember that the printing, uh, the printer companies, they are not really making their money off of selling you the hardware, the actual printer, they're making their money off of selling you the ink. It's just like video game systems. The video game companies are not really making their money selling you the consoles. They're really lost leaders for the company. They're making their money off selling the games. It's the same type of concept. It's a business model and printing ink uh, is just one of these commodities out there that people are really going after. But they also, there's a lot of companies that need the actual uh, bases so that they could, the cartridge bases, so they could put the ink in it rather than having to manufacture it or remanufacture it uh, themselves. Here you see again, five sets of virgin, and using that term again, genuine empty, and these are HP toner cartridges. So this is five of them. Uh, but again, this got over $205. Now you could use your own empty cartridges and save them up, uh, or you might know friends, family that have them that are just getting rid of them. And depending on where you work, um, you might have people in your own place of work who are just getting rid of these things left and right, chucking them in the garbage, uh, that sort of thing. Just be careful if you're getting these types of things at work that um, you are familiar with your work's policies about taking anything like this out of there because uh, some places could be strict even with stuff that's meant to be thrown away. So just be careful in your place of work. But you could also hit up local businesses and ask them, if you know, just develop a relationship with people. Hey, what are you doing with your empty toner cartridges? What are you doing with your empty printing cartridges? Could I come by? Could you save them for me? I'll come by every once in a while and I'll just pick them up for you. This way you don't have to throw them out. Just tell them you're going to do something that's going to wind up recycling them in a way. And that's basically what it, what it is that you are doing. You're preventing them from going to the landfill. Now, speaking of expiring, um, one of the things I used to do when I used to come across expired ink cartridges, and for those of you who don't know, if you look on a printing ink boxes, the actual boxes itself, they will usually have an expiration date on there somewhere. Now, many it's really divided opinion in terms of what to do with expired ink cartridges if you're trying to sell them as something new that actually works. Personally, I don't do that, uh, but I know many people who do because there are many uh, expired ink cartridges that will still work. I still don't like taking the chance, so I pass on it for the point of selling them as new. However, when you're outsourcing, what this example goes to show you, so keep it in your mind when you're out there, is still pick up the expired ones. I used to pass them by, again, because I used to sell them as new, but for this purpose, for selling them as expired and selling them in a lot, combined with a lot of other ones that are empty, that's where you could just throw these in. And you could mix them together. Like you can mix up different companies. Look here. This is Canon, HP, and other ones as well. And they're all just mixed up. It's just a general kind of lot here. 41 of them, including the expired ones, $179 and $13 shipping absolutely crazy. This is a repeatable thing with a high sell-through weight. Here's 25 of them. These are empty HPs, black and tricolor, $171. That's not a lot of them. That's just 25 of them right there. And again, this sold at auction. And the reason why you could use auction on these, it, it, the proof of it is just, it just, they're in such high demand. And it is also a relatively small niche or niche area on eBay. Maybe it won't be somewhere after I make this video, um, but compared to selling new ink cartridges, which you know so many people know about and there's so much of it out there, this area of 
empty cartridges is is not really known too well. Uh, so you really could do uh, do, do a good job getting these things together and putting them on there. Um, here's an, another example uh, just to show you because I've shown you a lot of ones that have color ink cartridges. Um, these are ones that are all just uh, black ones. They're all black right there. You could see HPs. Um, I don't know exactly how many there are. There's not that many in this one. Let's see if it says down here. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, looks like around 20 or so. Uh, sold for $158.50. Again, at auction, five bids. Now, I've been showing you ones that, you know, like 20 of them, 30 of them, and I've been showing you a lot of the OEM ones, the official ones. But um, these are non-official ones right here, okay? Right here, what you see, and you can see there it says non-OEM. So they're going to have this kind of generic look to it. You're not going to see like the, the company name, you know, stamped on the outside or anything like that, you know, from like a main company. It's not going to say Canon or HP because these are meant to be compatible ones. This is just six of them, six of them sold for $160. That is crazy. That's insane. Now, you could see here how this person set them up. They set down, set up a drop-down menu where you could select which printer you're getting those six from. So really, it just depends on how you want to source these things in terms of how you want to actually uh, set up your listing. But I'm just showing you all these different examples. And here's another one with six. This is just a different kind of look. Uh, you could see here the person set up a multi-variation listing. I have a video up on how to do a multi-variation listing. If you're interested, you go check that out. Uh, but here you could see this for Epson, and they might have had more at some point. This might be, uh, oh yeah, this is this is um, this is a completed listing, so it doesn't have all the options available. But this one here, this specific one, was Epson, and it was for the XP uh, fifteen thousand. Here you could see it right here. Very generic looking, just like that. It's something that would easily just be mistaken as just trash. Uh, or garbage, and um, there you go, uh, 85 uh, bucks just for those six plus $12 shipping. Now, if you really want to get crazy um, and you had some kind of way in which you could tap into like a massive amount of these, or if you just were patient and went to save them up, look at this. If, if you saved up 130 of these guys, 130 and these are uh, black ones and I think there's some color ones here too but 130 of them seven hundred dollars with 18 bids that's completely crazy folks oh make sure by the way that you're saving these little things right here see a lot of them will have these um little orange tabs on them on the outside, which basically prevent the ink from drying out. So make sure you don't throw those things out if you see them. Hang on to them because the people who are purchasing it, purchasing it from you are going to want that. Um, so I hope that you found all that helpful. Before you leave, make sure you check out one of my favorite people, uh, Mia Couture. She's a member of this channel, and I feature uh, all members uh, in terms of a link to their eBay store uh, in the description section and in the comments. And this is her. She's done very well on Chichingathons, Couture Collectibles, as you can see here. Uh, go check her out. Tell her that Primetime uh, said hi. And uh, if you want to go over and support her by picking something up, let her know uh, you got that through uh, through one of these links. I appreciate it. So uh, that's it for today, folks. I really hope that um, that you enjoyed things. And if you want to learn more about uh, about picking up items that are big money sellers, that are things that you could easily overlook, you are not going to want to miss my live show tomorrow night. Depending on when you watch this, so it's going to be on. Um, February 10th, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am having the one and only Craigslist Hunter on. Pete the Craigslist Hunter. This guy's a legend, almost at 200,000 subscribers. And uh, this guy, he is just incredible. So uh, wait till you see that show. So come on by tomorrow night. Don't miss it. And um, I'll just see you then. So don't forget, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Very important. And uh, check out membership if you're interested. Lots of cool perks for everybody. And um, I'll just see you at the next one, everyone. Take care.